It's fun. It's like, oh, it's like yeah. you're eavesdropping on a conversation. Definitely. People love. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. I agree with you. But, yeah. but no, it's because I put all of her clothes in the wash and she wanted something different. She wasn't that happy with how I did it. <laughs> so I think she like rewashed everything that I, got, I washed. I got to hear all about it. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. She probably told you more than she told me. Winnie, the poo, boats and hose will not be seen at this time in order that we may bring you something else that will definitely lead to divorce and possibly prison time. What's up, everybody? This is Mike. I'm JB. Hey, it's Misty. And I'm Jeb. And this is the GNX Talk Podcast. So, a bear and a man were taking a shit in the woods. The bear looked at the man and said... You have a problem with shit sticking to your fur? And the man said, well, I don't have fur. He said, do you have a problem with (laughs) shit sticking to your fur? The bear said, not really. So the man wiped his ass with the bear. So have you guys heard this new trend on TikTok that's been out there? Um, Everyone's talking about it. I mean, it's on TikTok. It's on Facebook where the old people hang out. It's on Instagram now. It's on all the social media where apparently most women would rather be alone in the woods with a bear than with a man. Hmm. What? Mm-hmm. And people are having fights over this, like legit knockdown, drag out, relationship oh, ending wars. Yes, they are. This is legitimately the first time I heard about this sitting Me down too. today. Yeah. Me too. So this is new. But but what I'm curious about, don't people know when they're in the woods, there's bears in, out there anyways? I mean, if you're by yourself, there's a fucking bear out there. Yes, I'm I mean, right. if you're in bear territory, you're already there. alone with the bear. Yes. Yeah. But exactly. that's not the point, is it? But I think they mean actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think they so mean like with actual, it. Like, with like, <laughs> or like you're hanging out with a bear. Like, help us understand. Like, now like, no, now like no, the, I the bear is date. in the general area. <laughs> This is why I and can't it is stalking you. Shit. I got to compete with millionaires. I got to compete with young motherfuckers. Now I got to compete with fucking bears. I'm never going to get anybody. Hey, why? <laughs> I, wonder if the, I wonder if she'd rather be in the, out there with a horse. I wonder if it's a grizzly bear or the white polar bear. Well, I would hope it's not a polar bear because they're they're the worst bear to be around. Period. Yeah. So, so is the That's premise? I hear they're more aggressive. Is the premise of this? You're you're trying to you're trying to say what? Like, hey, w- would you rather be potentially killed by a bear or potentially raped by a man? Is that what the bottom line is? Um, yeah, that's because the question believe- is: Would you rather have your daughter, my daughter, yeah, mm-hmm. be in the woods with a man or a bear a man she doesn't know stranger yeah that's it yeah just that's see, all you know like, yeah, that it's a man, a man it's a man and a bear it's just a man yeah it could be anything it could be any any situation i get what they're saying you don't you don't it. know the personality of the man you don't know the demeanor of the bear in so many words we're asking or they're asking is it better to be with a bear or a man? And I think the women are choosing the bear. Yeah, there, yeah, the majority, women. like ninety eight percent, are choosing bear. I, I, it makes sense to me. At least you can kill. A and, bear and you know what? Oddly enough, surprisingly, whenever I was looking, guys are saying the same thing. Hmm. I be in a bear with. The, the they would the rather have their child I mean, I, in the woods with just, the bear. Just a random. Oh, yeah, I get it. I, I agree. That's just a I'm random. Saying. I'm just trying to make sure I understand clearly. Just a yes. random bear and a random man. Random. It could be any just situation. Any man. situation. It's not a. It's not a random. It could be yeah. a date. It could be. It's just a man. Whatever you you could come up with different uh, scenarios or situations. Right. Well, yeah. Well, if it's like it could a, be whichever way you want. If it's her boyfriend, whatever, sure, with him, not the bear. But people. But you saying, don't. You don't know that it's her her boyfriend. Yeah, well, that's what I'm asking. Wait, right. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't it know. Is, the it, the it, thing just, is, you won't know. It, it is random. It's a it's random. strange man. It's a man that you don't know. It's a man that your daughter That's what doesn't it, okay. know. Okay. And a bear. I, I'll be honest with you. I'll still pick the man if you're telling me there's a hundred percent she's going to be with the bear. A, I mean, we're talking like a grizzly bear or something, right? right? right. Yeah. Like a hundred percent with the man because she can survive that. You will not survive a grizzly attack. It's done. If it if it attacks you, and it's a high probability it will if it's that close to you. Yeah, it's a very probability. high probability. And, yeah, and it's a high probability that a man will do something bad to you these days. And I think that's what. Yeah. it's but I think you what deserve, it's doing. What, yeah, what the, what the um like not necessarily your opinion they, or my opinion, but I think mm-hmm. the world's opinion. I think that's the not the beauty of it, but that's the issue that we should talk about is 
that you understand the dangers of a bear. Yeah. But there's, and, and I think the people who are saying, I choose the bear, understand the dangers of the bear. Right. Which lets you know the mindset of how people really feel about the safety around me in these days. Mm-hmm. Or really yeah. just human beings, period. I mean, humans. Right. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's things are changing. Point. Yeah. I no, just know right. why I can't get a date now. I think it's the damn bear. <laughs> really. It's something else I got to compete with. Here. <laughs> what about a teddy bear or that bear on Mike's head? <laughs> hey, bear, bears are winning these days. I'm just trying to Maybe get on I the right team. He's team. trying to like Maybe grow, I'll just grow get a hat like that. <laughs> I'm just trying like to get that. on the right team. Yeah, I'm the bear. <laughs> Maybe I'll just get me one of those hats. I think it's a silly question. I just think it's stupid with yeah. all due respect. It does. I do agree with what. Jab said 100%. It is a testament to how people think about men. Women think about men today. Or anybody. Right. Or anyone. Too. Yeah. Because, because is it, this is... Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, because they're from what I hear on TikTok and stuff like that, they're saying that you're less likely to be attacked by the bear yeah. when there's more uh, like domestic violence with right. men. I get, I get and that's what I was about to say. A lot of times... When we answer questions like this, I think it depends on who we're comparing. Because if I'm thinking about myself and a woman says she would rather be in there with a bear, I'm like, oh, fuck her. You know, like, I ain't going to do shit to her. But when I really think about my child and trained and, you know, if she had a gun on her or just whatever. And I like you say, bear might want some honey or the bear may not even attack her. She could light a fire. I may, I may, it may be a chance that there's. If my daughter was in the woods, that I'd be feeling better. That I would feel better knowing she's in the woods, you know, alone, and that a bear could be in the vicinity, than you know, men, male hunters, you know, three angry right. men, three men that are hot and horny, and found a little girl, and so I kind of, I kind of get it. I kind of get why people feel that way. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. Never thought about it, but is that? The overall thing, the bears. I, I yeah. think that's a big thing. <laughs> More to it. But I, I kind of feel like this because there are a lot of men out there that are getting like big mad. They're upset. They're offended. And I think it's kind of like what Jab said. You know, a lot of it is because we put ourselves in yeah. the shoes of that person. man. Yeah. And it's like, well, you know, you're safe around me. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, you know, and yeah, maybe we think of ourselves that way. We think of our friends that way. But Jeffrey Dahmer. Or- yeah, Charles but, Manson. Yeah, that's what you start thinking about. Like, but, what, what comes, if you end up in a in the woods with somebody like that? Well, I mean, or the you, people that kill the Uber drivers and you know all those type of folks. Like, but here's the thing. You know? I agree with you. Here's the thing. The statistic that a bear is going to attack you is high, but but you still it's still a low enough to where you might go unscathed. But if it attacks you, you're mm-hmm. fucking dead. There is no black and white. You are dead. A man in the woods, though, even if he rapes you or takes advantage of you, he probably won't kill you. The statistics that a guy would actually kill you is lower. Yeah. So I would rather. Yeah. I'd rather hug. I'd rather my daughter get raped than get killed. Yeah. (laughs) It sucks. It's a fucked up question. I I can't even like. Oh. I I I feel just saying, but I think the probability of the bear may be lower. I saw. I actually saw a video, and it might be on YouTube. Oh, it was like a bear from the wild, and it just out of nowhere attacked this woman. But they said it was the perfume she had on, the scent oh, of the perfume. Yeah. It, it triggered the bear, and it mm-hmm. attacked her, but it didn't kill her. And I mean, she was messed up pretty fucking bad. Yeah, but it yeah, I've heard, it, yeah, yeah, I've heard of a. I, I actually attacks. saw it, and it, it looked that he didn't bite her. He more just caught her and just kind of rough, on. real yeah. rough with her. He was rough, he was rough with her. yeah, like yeah. probably shook the shit out of and broke something, or whatever. like being in yeah. a bad wreck. I mean, but he didn't try to like bite her or eat her. (laughs) You don't know what a bear attack really consists of. Well, that depends on the bear. Yeah, like Like, or like if they're hungry, or if they're trying to just get you away because they're they're right. They're protecting their territory. There's so many variables and caveats here. Mm -hmm. There are. Yeah, but I I think the overall. This is a hard question for me. Like, which one? I don't. I don't go. But that. But what he said earlier. That's fucked up. We're even thinking about it. Yeah, we should. That's true. That's true. But but we but we it, it is. But it it's is, not. but it, because I think but it's just symbolism. having such a hard time deciding that. Yeah, that's what it's about. It, it shouldn't be that way. Yeah, but it, it should yeah. be. But it is. But it is. It really is. And uh, another thing <clears throat> that happens in this conversation, like me and my fiance, we've had this conversation. I've actually debated other girls, and they got big mad at me for right. some some of the things that <laughs> were being said in this that conversation. So I'm trying not to piss off the entire female gender today. But 
um, what you just said, you know. Um, I, I, I would feel safe in the woods. I feel safe in the woods. And basically when you're in the woods, like, like JB said, you're around bears. You're around all kinds of animals, snakes. I feel safe in the woods than I do around police officers. Mm-hmm. Those are men. That's interesting. No, I do. I, I feel much safer. I feel safer than certain areas, mm-hmm. certain cities, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. both uh, certain um, Caucasian areas that maybe not wouldn't like me because of the color of my skin. And then there are certain areas where people of my own race that are brutal that I feel I would feel more safe in the woods mm-hmm. in certain areas. Certain, let's just pick certain areas like yeah. I'm going to say the last time I went to New Orleans. I went to New Orleans um, since Katrina. It's a lot different, and the culture, you know, the stuff you see in the tourist place. But in some of the the real New Orleans, they don't accept people from other places. So when you're yeah. out there and you take Texas license plates to the to the gang members or the the criminals, mm-hmm. sometimes you're you're a victim because they see your plates. Mm-hmm. They know that you're not from there, you know, mm-hmm. and they know that if you're there, you probably have money on you, probably this, and and things happen if you get in certain areas, uh, certain places in Chicago. So I can say that, I mean, I mean, many of us, we go to the country or go out in the woods just to get away. Mm, you yeah. know, like I've been in that's the woods true, where, there's, yeah. where there's wild hogs. I'm, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to say that's equivalent to the bear, that if you're in the wrong spot, they'll run up on, and I still would feel safe. Mm. You know, more, I mean, more right. safe, more safe yeah. there. So I think it's a, I think it may be sad or it may hurt some people's pride or whatever, but mm. it's understandable. Yeah. It's under, it yeah. just depends on the situation. Like you said, I'm. Think about it. Yeah, it's uh, a JB, I mean. you you would would you go you would go camping? I'm thinking you have before oh, yeah, woods, yeah. go hunting. Oh yeah, done and slept that. maybe in a tent or mm-hmm. in a bag. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, let's just say I'm just gonna make up a place. I'm just gonna say the projects in Chicago. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't camp out out there, would you? Mm-hmm. See what I'm so so it makes sense. It's just that it it's it's fathoming. You know, like when you just think about a bear mm-hmm. in the woods or a man in the woods. But I think it's symbolism for overall. Do these women feel more safe? Yeah, in the woods around this, is it more dangerous in uh, with men or in the woods? Like I think that's more of the yeah. But when you think about just a bear, just a man in the woods, then yeah. of course, yeah, it's like hmm. yeah, the bear, <laughs> the, the bear. I don't want to be around. Right. Yeah, I think that uh, one of the big uh, well, the issue that I kind of get into it with people on when it comes to this subject is that. The women that I've talked to about it, they they come at it in this way where it's almost like they're pointing the finger. It's like we understand the analogy. Right. We understand that men are dangerous. Men are violent. Men are aggressive. Yes. But then the next part of this <laughs> is that they'll come back and like look at men like, so what are you going to do about it? When are <laughs> men going to start holding men accountable? Yeah, and that's right. where you lose me because mm. what the fuck are we supposed to do? Yeah, I mean because the type of man that will rape and murder a woman in the woods, how am I going to hold that person accountable? You think I'm going to go over there and give him a strongly worded lecture? <laughs> I mean, seriously, and this <laughs> little slap on the hand. Yeah, yeah. and let's well. let's take it a step further. No, I, I get he's right. I get he's what let's you say it. Let's take it a step further. As a black man, I've heard this uh, statistic over and over again. 13% of the population commits 50% of the crime. So, Mike, what are you going to do about black-on-black violence? What are you going to do about gang banging? And it's like, uh, well, shit, I don't know, Karen. I didn't, jo- <laughs> I, I didn't join a gang. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. what about, do you want me to do about it? The thing about statistics is people read them and they're, like, freaking stupid. When Because in any city... Or any area or community, there's crime by people against the same people because that's all that's there. Right. You're, if you're in freaking South Fort Worth in the what we call the heart of the South Side, you don't necessarily drive to Chisholm Trail to go rob people. You, if you're somebody that's breaking yeah, into like, houses I mean, and you don't have a car and you you breaking in houses still, and you're not going to take a lift to <laughs> Crowley or Burleson. Right. And like, oh yeah, so. Of yeah. course, you're going to commit crime against people. The question is, though, is, in, in but your- the question would be, maybe for another show, would be with that mentality, though, all white neighborhood percentages versus all white black neighbor or all black neighborhood percentages, which ones are actually per capita creating more crimes? Yeah. Is it the same? Yeah. That would, I, I, that, that's yeah. the question. Yeah, Not yeah, what you said I agree with, but yeah. that's a question. I, I did want to make 
make it's, one. It's not, it's not always black or white. It's usually going to be like, like if you take the, let's say the Irish or you take the um, Italian community before they were integrated into the uh, Caucasian race. They were committing crimes against each other. It, it's more, I think when it comes to that type of stuff, it's more about poverty and the situation, like where people are living. Like mm-hmm. if you look at over where we, where I live, well, it was considered a nice neighborhood. Now it's becoming overpopulated. Mm-hmm. Like there's so, where there used to be cows and grass, there's houses and apartments. So in that same, let's just, you know, let's do the Crowley Road to, Mm -hmm. Hewlin to 35 to 20. There's way more. I mean, even when you try to exit, the line is backed up at five o'clock. It's just to exit. Yeah. You know, they've even built the, what's that Chisholm Trail? um, Yeah. The the, tow road. The tow road. Yeah. yeah. What I'm saying is you have, I'm just making up something. You have triple, quadruple the amount of people in this same space that you once only had this many people. So I think that's why more crime, regardless of, you know, when you have areas like that, more of the nicer neighborhoods, they're not as crowded. You know, there's not going to be apartments like that. Your house is going to have right. apartments Right, there's not going to be apartments. It. It's going to be bigger houses. Yeah, it's not going to be. <laughs> Which is going to attract a whole different type of, you got all these people. Right. And it's one little cluttered area. Your neighbor And right then you, here, you've got the gated communities, yeah. you know. You don't hear your neighbor having sex. <laughs> That's an argument you would never have. Well, I don't know. You met my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? It's, it's two or three she's, in the morning. She's Indian and she's loud as fuck. <laughs> she is. Yeah, like, I she wonder is. what the hell comes out of that house. I'm like, <laughs> well, that's, a, well, that's, that's Jay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're talking know. Indian like India or India, India like Cherokee? India. India. Well, India. Indian. India. India. Okay. You yeah. know, some people in America call the Native Americans Indians. Oh, I see what you're saying. saying. Yeah. Oh, like the yeah. Redskins that are now the commanders. Yeah, no, this is Don't a... Don't call them motherfuckers. This Indian. is a person from India. They're like Habib. Yes. <laughs> you want to slurp it. <laughs> Swedish and Habib it down. some really good food and it smells really good. I've but, got but, 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 yeah. well, Okay, so, so JB's neighbor is loud. He can hear his neighbor. But I always smell their food cooking. You don't hear the kids <laughs> running through the house. Like, there's certain th- things that happen in the small... Areas like that that would never happen in a big area. You wouldn't have to get into it with your neighbor because their kids keep running in and out, you know, running through the house, and you can't sleep at night. Yeah, that I think, type of stuff. I think yeah, the population density has a lot to do with crime, and it also has a lot to do with bear attacks. You're, you're not <laughs> you're not seeing fifty bears a day. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, it's true. I haven't I, seen a bear ever. You know, it's funny though. I want to person. throw out there I, the same women the that had the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> that's all the only time. The same women that want us to hold each other accountable. And I'm not saying I completely disagree with that mindset actually at all. However, they're the same woman that says they're godly, but they wear half naked clothes out in public all the time. It's like, if you're going to broadcast yourself, if you're going to be bare food, motherfucker, you know what I mean? It's like, in other words, a lot of women in today's world, they, it's interesting. They, they, they say they dress up for each other. That you know, that's what if you ask a woman who you dress up for, they say each other. That's what they say. Yeah. And I'm not saying I disagree with that. For themselves. Fine. But if you're gonna look super sexy and you're gonna be revealing and you're gonna be out in a public where men are, you have to understand how men think. And so I think the first accountability step is don't stop looking that way. If you don't want the attention that brings, simmer it down a little bit. Cause I know I teach my daughter that. But even but even women who sit right, down, and then women Muslim women who are that. covered get raped by men. But that's not uh, the point. I'm talking about. I'm talking about in accountability measures. Like everyone gets raped, no matter what you yeah, look like. So, so but so, the statistic that you, as a woman, are going to get one want to hold men accountable as a society. Well, it starts also with women holding themselves accountable, like in how they look and how they treat and how they talk and how they react. You know, it, it all starts I, with those things. I agree that women have to hold women accountable. But I don't agree with the, how a woman dress has anything to do with how a person treats her. Yeah. If, if a woman, it doesn't matter yeah. how she dresses. I don't, I don't I mean, think the no, what was she wearing argument's going to go yeah, well. That's well not I think, go I think there's I a difference I, I between what they're wearing, like, say, if they go to the mall or if they're going to the beach. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah you're right. That's another I mean, thing. There's a di- there but is a difference. I, what I'm saying I mean, is, it's common sense. If a woman's half naked and right in front of you, you're going to think different thoughts than you would if she's fully clothed wearing loose clothes. True, but that's, that's not the an point. excuse. What you think in your head is not an excuse. To for your action, I can think. I can think. But right it helps. Now, right. But it helps. Yeah. Okay. But, but, it, but, it, but it helps. It, it helps. Makes, keeps it accountable. It's accountability. It, it's not. 
I'm not saying it. I, I just disagree. It helps, I'm not saying but you still right. have to have self control. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What I'm saying is a I know woman, that, a woman holding gotta... a woman accountable. But I understand what mean. you're saying. Yeah. There's not the dress doesn't have anything to do with this. I don't believe because if that's the case, well, that, and that's why there's religions that have women who wear dresses. The Muslim, you know? the, the Muslim, religion, be, the Muslim about, religion. Cover, cover about, your hair. That's what they believe in. You know? No, that's that's so, not just a, it, that's not just the Islamic religion. That's the Christian religion in the Middle East. If you go to the Middle East, the women that are Jews cover themselves. Right. The that, right. That's just the Middle East right. thing. Right. It's not, it's not, why? It's not why? But why? It's because the men know the, but the, the, what thoughts the men exactly, have. Exactly. So the reason Which why I understand what is you're because saying. they walk in the sand. But here in America, and if you, that's we're the reason totally started. different. But no, it, yeah. It started because of the sand in the deserts and how they, that's why they begin dressing like that. Because if it's because of religion, then also the religion teaches the man not, not to look at not a woman. necessarily religion. No, no, well, I'm saying religion, you, you can't you can't bring you can't bring up when you say Muslim you can't bring up a religion and and only bring up the part that benefits your statement. It also says that a man is responsible yeah. for what he looks at, right? And that to yes. view a woman right. once, I is agree. Fine. But to view right. a woman more than once is right. lust. So both so, of you need to right. keep each other accountable. You don't quit looking exactly. and you quit looking a certain way. That's what you're I, saying. I, no, I'm not saying that. That's what it is, though. <laughs> no, no, That's what it is. No, I, One I, person has to quit looking sexy. The other person has to quit looking so, at sexy. So, so tell me this. I'm just saying an accountability no, no, measurement. I think a woman looks sexy fully clothed. No, that's so good. does that mean? Yeah, that, so, so, mean- hold on, hold on. So if a woman is fully clothed, because because women in my culture have nice shapes. So a woman can be fully covered, mm-hmm. and you can still see her shape. She can still look nice. She yeah. can still look attractive. Sure. So now what? So she's being accountable. So why is it, why is it more of that on so a billboard than, than bikinis? More what? Of that, what because, you just described, because it's America. What does that mean, it's though? America. No, not because it's, it's freedom. It's what it says. No, no, no. To, it sells. To, there you go. It sells in Why does it sell um, though? Because I don't know. Why There's a statement because, they call it because it's because sex sells. E- Yes. Come on. Yes. Yeah, but, it's a reality. But, Showing a, a naked woman or even a half clothed woman. Is sensual but, and but, sexual, but, but selling and and raping or harassing or abusing. Well, I'm not talking about just rape. Things. But that's what the show is about. We're, I said, I said, no, it's I about. Said, do you want to be in the middle we, of the woods or I, someone? It's, but it's. <laughs> but I said, but I said, I said, I think I'm about to go see me a bear. But I said, raping or oh harassing God. or abusing. <laughs> I'm saying all three. But mm. that's what we're comparing. Hey. We're talking about a man if you feel safer. And what I'm saying is, all of those things that you named. There's no excuse to do those things based on how I'm not giving it an excuse. When, when, well, when when, when I'm you talk, say accountability, I'm springing boarding off uh-huh. the word accountability, not excuse. Okay, okay. In uh-huh. the world, in the world, let's call it America for now, since we're Americans. In this country, my point is, is there's less accountability. I was just yeah. simply making the first statement is with the women that are talking about what do you want to do about it. But the first thing would be, well, number one, let's quit embracing mm-hmm. more flesh out in public. I'm not saying I don't like it. I mean, I, hey, I'm, I'm calling the kettle black. I'm contradictive because I know me personally. I don't know about you, Jab or Mike. I get a lot more sexually turned on when I see a woman wearing tight fitting clothes, even or showing any skin than I do if they're loose and it's less revealing. I may still think a woman's beautiful, but when I see a woman that isn't broadcasting, I immediately have a circuit breaker in my back that goes, you know what? I'm going to think about her a little differently because she's commanding more respect. But when a woman walks out in the middle of a public, she's half-assed naked and she's tight. I mean, talking, I'm not just mean a beach. I mean, anywhere. Mm-hmm. Well, it allows my mind to think it's even made. This is me. And I understand what you're saying about control. But naturally, as a man, as I'm wired, my naturally first, my first five to 10 seconds is looking at her going, damn. And I start thinking a quick sexual thought. Then I can pull it back and go, nope. Now, I'm not a guy that's going to, a woman's got to be threatened about. I'm not that guy. But my mind thinks that way for a second. And I think that from an accountability standpoint, purely accountability standpoint, women have to be accountable on how they show themselves to society and, and to men is all I'm saying. I believe that men have okay. to be, we have to be more accountable. But as far as what Mike said, we can't, we can't do anything about people we don't know. But I know me, like certain men that think a certain way, I don't hang around. Like I don't go out with. Like I'm, I'm just using JB as example. Yeah. If he was like one of my buddies and he's like, yeah, man, when I see this, I get turned on. I get, I don't, I'm not going out with this motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I yeah. can be a kid. Look, man, you're a creep. Cause I already know when we go out, he see women, he get all excited, want to touch them. You know, that type of stuff. Yeah. Right. Not saying JB does that. No, I don't do but that. But I'm that saying that's the saying. way as men, we have to be accountable. I think is when we speak about it, speaking against it and our actions mm-hmm. being against it because I, I raised a daughter and I will admit when I was a young child, 
I, I mean, I wasn't really into girls like that, but by the time I was, I had a daughter. And once I had a daughter, the way I view things and women and relationships is probably totally different because I raised my daughter. You know, well, do you, so, do you think guys are like that because of how they are either raised or taught? It's, it's or, absolutely yeah, or just, how they're raised and just how they're naturally innate that way. No, I don't. I think it's a little bit of. I mean, I think of course a male and female are both naturally attracted to each other. Yeah, but right. the way we handle and care, yeah, it's the way they're raised. It, it's, it's it's culture. It's the way they're raised. It's the things they've seen. Like me, I don't get turned on by a woman dressed like that. I actually don't like it. I go to thinking like, oh man, she's a hoe. Or I think about how many guys are probably the same thing I'm doing. How many, and it makes me not want her in a sense as somebody else that may make them like, oh, I got to have that. You get what I mean? Like well, if I saw you yeah. and you were, and you're this nice one and you were like half naked in this, I mean, you might look nice, but I, I'm not going to be interested because in my mind, I think more like she's probably out there. She's probably this because I don't think a woman should dress that way. That's mm-hmm. just my personal opinion. I, I would. So even even but like she you, you've to, already you've already judged her by I, yeah, what I, she's I, wearing of what her personality will be. I, I haven't. Yeah, in a sense, yes. <laughs> that's but, my but point. What I'm doing <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> making my point. That's I, it. But the way I'm judging her, is <laughs> yes. That, yeah, I don't. I don't. I, it's not even that I'm judging her. It's just. And you it, don't it's even just, know her. No, it, it's you've not that I'm judging her as a person. Never had a conversation with her. You never. I'm not judging her as a person. I'm saying that I'm judging her far as that's not somebody I would be attracted to. Meaning, meaning, if me and you were in a relationship, if I met you dressed like this, mm-hmm. okay, this is how yeah. you dress. That's not what I, that doesn't mean that I think you're a bad person. You're a great person. That's not what I want my woman to dress like. Right. So I can't see you dress like this and then get with you and say, hey, I don't want you dressing like this anymore. So right. I would more choose a woman that's not dressed that way because that's not what I'm into. You get makes what sense. I'm saying? But yeah. I'm not judging, but judging to me yeah, is saying that that's wrong, that's bad. It's just like if I'm not into Caucasian women, I only date African American yeah. women. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean I think that Caucasian women are bad. It just means yeah. that's what I date. So right. I, yeah, that's yeah. great. That don't mean I want to go marry somebody. I mean, that makes sense. Or you don't want to marry but a short guy or a poor guy. Women kind of do the same yeah, thing. We have, they, yeah. they judge what it's, a it's, guy's it, wearing. It's, and it, but it's not judging always when you're talking about who you want to be with, you just have a preference of what you want. Well, you mentioned now, maybe you thought someone looking like that might be loose or been around. Or, or too many yeah. people are looking at them, yeah. So like that, what you just said. Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't See, and you don't want anybody looking at your woman. I don't want nobody. Well, I just don't want to dig. I just don't like that. It's yeah, not what okay. I like. I don't okay. mind. But you know. there are some other guys. See, he labels them. I'm not saying putting words in your mouth, but you, he labels them maybe being fast or being attention seekers. Okay. Or, I yeah. don't know if that's exactly what you're no, saying. No, I just don't. I just don't, they might be. Yeah, they could be. That's what I'm saying. They could be. I don't know. There's other I just guys don't like it. There's other guys. Yeah. He likes a woman that he he can find respectful by the way they carry themselves and the way they dress. Right. There's other guys that'll see that same woman he doesn't like and will think I just want to fuck her. Yeah. That woman want yeah. then that same woman will be complaining why men always want to fuck her. Yeah. No. That's, yeah, that's my I point. Know, I get so it. Keep no, your shit, so so yeah, dress differently. It. Keep because yourself accountable. Same, and it'll help. I think the same but, way. Yeah. Like. But you know, but I think there's women who dress nice and guys still dress Oh yeah, and going there's on. women that are fucking strippers and guys marry them. So it's like, I, I just think that we have to individually. Yeah. Be so why do guys do. do that and then they complain about the women? What do you mean? They say they marry a stripper. They already know <laughs> well, see, what their life's about. Yeah, I, don't, I don't. What they complain. do for a living and how they make money. But then, yet they go and complain. Yeah, I don't know. Just don't be because like, they think so they're that, saving that doesn't them. Doesn't make sense. They, they, think, yeah, they think they're saving them. It really does. It, it really does. Oh, Zero complex. No, none of it makes. None of it. So makes do, sense. do the guys think that they're going to change the woman? They probably do. They do. That's exactly what they think. I, I they think, think they're, they're saving them. I think they're just sprung on that sex, man. Woman that so what about, pussy so what about, for a living. It's all about pussy. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, wait. woman that sells pussy for so, a living so is going to be able the, to. Yeah. The women. Especially if he's a, a, just a nerdy dick, type it's just guy. Just like getting a dick sucked. I don't yeah. understand what all this complication is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the way she works. No. And, and he <laughs> so over, what it is. Yeah, it's emotions. It's like he said. There's no there's no accountability and self-control. Yeah. And the man, most of the women that I see that seek out these type of guys or these guys get with them. Yeah. It's usually the good type of guy. Like like the guy that wasn't hanging out in the streets. So he uh-huh. don't know really about this type of shit. You know? And yeah. he thinks, oh, she's this because she's a victim of this. Because I've been that guy. Oh, she she's uh-huh. a she was a nice girl, but she this guy made her this way. Her, and then you think her. if you show her something good, oh, that's that's why she's this way. And then you're gonna find out, no, she's just this way because that's who she is. And, yeah. And, and I think that's it's, a lot of truth. There. Yeah. It's the same way with men. There, really. A lot of women get with guys and think, yeah. think they're going to change you. Yeah. Not, not, not even just change. Well, that, I think that, so. Think yeah. Some person. women they think, think it's they're going to change. They think it's the circumstances why he's this way. 
But if I show him love and I show him this, he'll do different. You just find out that a lot of people are what they were when you met them. That's why yeah. I'm the way with the dress, because at 45, what I've learned is this. Women above okay. 35, especially. Okay. Especially 35. And the older they get, it gets even more. They become more like men. And what I mean by more like men is we're stubborn by nature. I mean, right. like JB, his thoughts, yeah. like what he just said, he's not budging off of that. And right, I'm not budging right. off of that. We're men. That's what we, that's yeah. what make, we're going to, but a woman who right. is, who is getting older and older, she's becoming the same way. So she's not changing. So if yeah. she, when you're 45. But her, her body is though. So oh, yeah. she, she can, she better do something to keep that value up. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. But what, you're right. But, uh, but, no, but yeah, what I'm I noticed is, as I'm getting older. If you get a, if you got a girl I'm at 25 a little more specific. or 26 or 21, you yeah. can say like, Hey baby, I think you should dress this way or I don't. And she's going to probably be more, but 35, when you're 40, younger, well, for women, I think when ways. you're younger, you're just a little more forgiving. Yeah. But I'm talking about far as things that you like or don't like. Yeah. What I'm saying is a woman your age, you're not changing. You're not, right. if, whatever you wear, yeah. if I don't like your hair, that's the way your hair is going to be. Yeah. You're not, but if, so, so what I've learned is you have to go by how people look in this, not that it's good or bad, if it's what you want. Right. Because it's not likely that it's going to change. So yeah. when you were 20, you can meet someone and it was likely that y'all are going to change. Y'all are 20. You're yeah. Gonna grow, you're you're going to grow and change And that's why together. people who love each other young, if they don't grow in the same direction, or learn to compromise, they right. grow apart. They grow apart. But yeah, by exactly. the time you're 45 or whatever age we are, I am, you're set in your way. So yeah. if I like you the way you are, then boom, it's going to work. That's what right. I'm saying. So when it's the dress thing, I don't. Or you think go that through it, that midlife crisis right. where you I, know. I'm basically saying I don't think the dress is bad. I'm saying it's not what I prefer. No different yeah. than I don't like a certain football team. It doesn't mean they're bad. It's just not my team. Yeah. Right. So if the woman exactly. is not. The way I like, it's probably not going to work. But, but again, we're talking, and I agree with everything you said there. But I would never go abuse a woman or or touch her ass and say, well, you had it yeah. out. You know? No, I wouldn't yeah. either. But Not but, you, but some men do. Well, That's some men do. And, and, the problem and I'm is, not going to stare either. I'm and not. some men just even talk abusive to women. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you and I don't do that. We, we, we've we established that. Yeah. But there's a lot of guys that do. Yeah. And my dad do it. Oh my God. I've seen it in, I'll go out and smoke a cigar somewhere at a bar and I'll see the guys do that. The younger guys usually, you know, mm-hmm. fuck, you know, um, my age, I'm even, I'll just look at Farya. She's hot. So what's up with the news today? You know, I'm like, I don't give a fuck much these days, but, but you get my point. It's like, uh, from an accountability standpoint mm-hmm. is where, where, where I originally made that comment, you yeah. know, about. Yeah. Well, there, there's a, there's a situation at my place of business and there was a girl and she, you know how women today wear those tights all the time. You know, the, the tights like they the wear. Spandex yeah. Type. Like, kind of like, yeah. She wears those uh-huh. and she, I guess she has, because they were always black. I guess she has about 50 pairs because, or she's yeah. wearing the same ones. I don't know. But right. she wears those tights to work. And there were guys that were actually harassing her. They were. Yeah. And, 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 and people would. Is it because come, she wore a short shirt she, with it? Or no, no, does no, no, she no, wear no, a long she, shirt? No, no, no. Not her shirt. She wore no, tights. No, I know. No, I know. But. Your shirt can also like cover things up. Yeah. On well, the no things. Stuff. Thing I, I like to say I don't want to talk about my job, but when she moves, <laughs> she, things are showing. But what I, the point I'm okay. getting at is there were men who were were actually harassing this woman, and it was even said that, that worked there or customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we're p- people on the job. Like she filed her charges or whatever. Right. But there were actually there was talk where men were saying things like she know what she doing. She know what she doing when she wearing those pants, and that's mm-hmm. the type of stuff I don't agree with. Even as a man, if you feel that's what she's doing, stay away from it. It's it's just like a, right. a if you saw a sixteen year old. If I saw a sixteen year old, I don't care how good she looks, I'm not gonna look at her. You know what I mean? Of course, you're gonna but see even though, though you're saying it, why don't they? Why don't they what? what? Stay away or or not? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Comment, they have a, I'll tell you because exactly. they have because an issue. I think I, that's I, the issue, right? It there. is, but but. That's where we have to be more accountable as men. No, I agree. Yeah. There's not. There's no excuse for it. It's just. Well, I agree, I agree with the accountability in that. Hundred percent. What you said, man. I'm I'm yeah, on board. Yeah. Thousand percent. Men should also be accountable on how they talk and react to women. Right. Just don't pay her no attention if you think that's what she's doing. Like, but some men, uh, yeah, they have a hard time, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the way they're raised or just the way they think. Well, the, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's society, the way it's they're emotions. raised. It's emotional. How their parents it's said, "Oh, emotional. you know, it's yeah. okay." You know, and, if, and that's the part that I really take issue with. It's called impulse and urges, and not. And yeah. led by emotions. Right. Yeah. And uh, when it comes to what we're call, called no filter. <laughs> when it comes to what we're talking about, that's where I take issue. Um, when I say accountability, what do why do we as other men have to 
hold these random strangers accountable because I can tell you is as far as that statistic about 13% of the population commits 50% of the crimes or that 80% of all crimes are com- com- are uh, committed by men. The one thing I can say that is 99.999% true is that that many people who have committed crimes were raised by a woman. And a lot of them were raised by only a woman. So it's not just men that need to oh, hold people accountable. It's mothers who mothers. need to hold their sons it's accountable. A, it, but how can they? They don't know how to right. think like men. And it's right. true. No, now he just said something. And it, I've dealt with that. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. It's no, not ahead. just go not ahead. being able to think like men. It's that this is the world you want. Right. And you have to understand yeah, that sometimes right. your sweet angel is an asshole. And sometimes <laughs> when the teacher gets on to them well, and I, you go to school to cuss out the teacher, sometimes that teacher is right. Sometimes your kid is doing things exactly, that you don't know about. Exactly. And the exactly. first, That's true. The first and, level of accountability and women starts do with do the that. parents. Yeah. yeah. Women do that. What, some women do turn a blind eye to what the kids are doing or... What their own kid is doing. What their own kid is doing. Yeah, definitely. And also the way a woman raises a boy. See, what women can do and men are two different things. Just because I see it, but I'm not uh, that way. I, if, if some, if I see something, I'm going to say it. Like, but, but it's what I'm saying is he's right about the mothers. It's a difference. Like I, I've been in a situation like a woman can look at give mother and she gets all emotional about everything, gets upset, raise a voice, you know. Yeah. And I, hey, you can't do this in front of him. Because when a male acts this way, it's going to turn into something different. Meaning, okay, you can get mm-hmm. mad and yell and cuss. Yep. And, and you're going to do it to me and I'm probably nothing. If JB goes to get mad and yelling and cussing at me or I do vice versa, we're going to end up fighting. Yep. Like men yeah. have an X and a Y chromosome. It's a difference. But when these boys are being raised by these emotional women, they see these, they see her acting this way and they right. tend to act like her. They can't help it. Yeah. If you watch a boy raised by his mom, I've seen it. They put their hands on their hips. There's just certain things they do because right. they've watched a woman forever. Yeah. They I know, walk yeah, like her. I, they do certain I things that, that. Uh, you can't talk to them the way you would. My dad, right now, if I drew a picture of a dog, I'm going to give you a prime example of how I was raised by a man. I drew a picture of a dog. Your mother, this is your, this is a mother. And I'm not saying all women, but for the most part. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a cute little, what is that? That's a dog. Mom. Oh, he's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. This is a man. This is a father. That's a dog. Boy, that ain't no dog. This is my dad. That's not a dog. Look, this is a dog. And he's going to make me draw it again. You get what I'm saying? Until right. And it's going to look like a dog. That's a dog. You see the difference? Yeah. But the mother, I guarantee you, she's going to say, oh, baby, that's so cute. Thank you. And it yeah. don't look shit like a fucking dog. So the man, the boy grows up like this. And then when he gets in the real world, the real world is not like this. The real right, world's gonna right. tell him you're full of shit. That yeah. football coach is gonna sit him on his ass on the bench. Right. That teacher's gonna say, "Hey, you failed. This is no good." And now he doesn't know how to deal with this. And because he's a man and yeah. not a girl, this is what uh, he gets aggressive, and get, that's what happens. It's it starts. It's not nothing that a woman is in. Um, so it's not that she's wrong. She's doing what in her nature is to do, and mm-hmm. I just believe that it it takes both. And in this right. society, you the you don't have us coming together. You have because of things like what JB said, the dressing, the this. You're right, JB. I agree with you. Yeah. A woman starts, yeah. Like, yeah, man, we just go fuck her. In the, in my younger days, yeah. Now that I'm older, I just stay away from that shit altogether. Of course, because yeah. I know what it leads to. Yeah. But in your younger days, yeah, you're gonna you're not, I'm gonna marry this bitch. I'm a fucker. That's what you're gonna do. You're yep. gonna fuck her and shit, kick it with a little bit and send her on her way. That's it. And and that's I, I'm not saying that's right. But that's what's going to no, happen. I get, but, I get what you're saying. And, and in the mix of doing that, they create a lot of people create children. Yeah. Well, and, and, they create and children. The thing is, this is, is where the problem comes. No. Yeah, yeah. I get it. And the, not all women are like that on how they, they teach their kids, um, like baby in them and coddling thing in them. Um, like with the drawing you were talking about, because Jeez. I mean, I was more of the mother educate. Um, what could go wrong? What could happen? Mm-hmm. Those type of things. Um, but I, I think it's part of the raising. What's yeah. the personality of the parent? Right. You know, but I would say this, and I'm not saying that you're wrong, but any woman that did I tell this to, they're going to say, I don't do that with my kid. They don't realize they do it. 
You get what I'm saying? You didn't do it maybe in that particular situation. I'm just basically saying that a woman raising a boy by himself. Right. For the most part, not every woman. No, she's I get it. No, because I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen she's it. going to treat him the way she would treat her man. She's going to make his plate. She's going to iron his clothes. Fucking, I've seen it. When I yeah. say, what age did you iron your clothes? Because at 12, 13, 11, I was ironing my own clothes. I know motherfucker 14, 15, 16 years old, their fucking mom is ironing their fucking clothes, making their food. Mm. They don't have responsibility. I see this all the time. Right. It's not just with one and seeing it, you even conversations. And that's what's changing. Men have to be raised from the day one as boys. Mm-hmm. Accountability, responsibility. Right. Um, what else? What else? Respect. JD? Respect. Huh? Um, discipline. I'm just saying these are things that you have to give a boy. Right. Growing up. If you don't, yeah. that's where these men come from. These men that yeah. can't control themselves. These men that think that, oh, she does this. It's all of this comes from mm-hmm. how they were raised from the jump. And right. I think it's just a, it's just a trickle down. Mike, what's your, what's your thoughts on it? Effect. Well, just to continue with what, uh, Jab's saying here. Yeah, it starts from the beginning because once they're adults, they're already assholes. Yeah, it's too And late. there's not a whole lot we can do about it. I mean, the only accountability I got for you is probably going to be at the end of a barrel, to be honest. Yeah, that's the truth. Um, it's the truth. I, I can't, I can't, you know, it starts with parents raising their kids. And it, there, there are some social influences that are out there that mm-hmm. really need to be dealt with that mm-hmm. right. a lot of kids grow up getting the wrong message. But at mm-hmm. the end of the day, it starts with Kids, you know, once they're adults, it's already too late. They're already monsters. And the thing is, like what uh, you guys said earlier, you know, we're not hanging out with these guys for one, first and foremost. So it's not like I'm hanging out with my homeboy and we're just talking. He's like, man, I've been thinking about raping this girl. (laughs) Like, it's not a situation where, hey, man, I don't think you should do that, you know? Yeah. But, (laughs) but, yeah. These guys, let me get away from this motherfucker. The people that do exactly. it. Yeah. yeah, but these guys. The other thing is, they're not hard to spot. Okay, they really, they mm-hmm. really aren't. I mm-hmm. mean, we know guys. We can see what type of a guy is gonna be most likely to do some crazy shit. Men yeah. can, men can, but I women can. can't identify it. Hey, I feel this, like women. Yeah, that's, I feel like hard. women sometimes ignore the. They signs. just ignore it. They just ignore it. They're like I, I think that women because mean, we're because we try to be forgiving. I, I mean that that's one of the things look, that look, let me tell you something. We're taught as as women be mm-hmm. forgiving because they're, y'all are going to be doing so much wrong. Sometimes yeah. women yeah. have. I, mean, to, I agree. And, and who taught you that? Because I always hear women tell. I would say the mother taught you that, or your father. Let, let, I'm just asking. No, I'm asking the question. Who taught you that, the mother? Because I would say your mother taught you that. Because I, I wouldn't think, tell my daughter that crap. Well, I think it's. <laughs> Religion. Oh yeah, you know, that's they, true. That's they, true. They, yeah, yeah. I, religion. I personally think women are because wired differently. And what you you're not going to be able to really know how a man thinks. You just think oh, you right. can. Yeah. And we yeah. we don't yeah. really know. This is the bottom line. We, yeah. we can yeah. only yeah. observe what, what and want. we go by what y'all tell us. Yeah, and that's uh, what could be lies. And, exactly. So yeah. men, it's, men, it's, uh, men, yeah. men know how men are wired women right. know right, how exactly. women are wired exactly yeah. we can look at from afar and go this guy's an idiot he's a douchebag yeah. look at this guy trying to look all cool and swabby but the girls right. go to him we know he's mr cool he's gonna fuck yeah. or get her pregnant we can see it right yeah. just women, like us women right we know exactly what they're doing oh right. wait, he's just but, after so, him for the money but this is you the know, difference jb trying this to have is a the night. difference and i saw this on a post on social media and it was by a woman let me say this first because the women are going to get upset and the woman said this she said that girls, from the time they're young, they yeah. get told what type of guy to not deal with. From the time they're young, they, they, they hey, what type of guy to stay away from. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and, and they grow up, and they still mess with the guy that they were taught to stay away from, and people give them sympathy. And they said boys yeah. are never told what type of woman to stay away from. Mm-hmm. And when they get with a bad woman, people say, he should have known better. This was a woman who said this, and I thought about it, and it's true. I've never, you don't, you see, I'm right. hey, stay away from this type of guy. Hey, that guy's no good. Yeah. Hey, don't be around drug dealers. Hey, don't be around guys that don't want to do this. Women have to go through a process. But the women still do it. Yeah. Because my dad always told my daughter, my sister, it's about probably because the guys. woman thinks that they're going to change it. N- no one they're ever told me. What, what, no one ever told me what 
All right, you know, let me let me tell you, know, you guys something. Yeah. <laughs> we have to figure it out. Let me tell you guys something because uh, this is something that I've seen in my personal life multiple times, and it goes right along with what you were just saying. I mean, there was a situation, me and one of my female friends, and first and foremost, let me just say to the ladies out there, listen to your straight male friends, okay? Yeah. We know what we're talking about yeah. when we see we're, the guys that you're dating Yeah, and, and you know, to. these guys, they'll tell the woman whatever, but then they go back to their friends or whatever, and they say something different. Like, they're very manipulative, that's men in general. Yeah. Men, but, men well, in general are going to tell the woman what they want to hear to a certain extent. I don't exactly. mean it in a racist sense. And, I think, and, and that's shit. why women tend to fall for that man. Well, they just but need you to, can't tell them the truth. Because you can't. You can't tell a woman the truth. She's going to get upset. She doesn't want to hear the truth. They want to hear a lie. If you put on a dress and you it, say, hey, do I look fat in this? You already know you look fucking fat. Why the fuck are you <laughs> asking me? You know you do. You know you look fat. You know you're eating cake. But if I say, but if I say, if I say, yeah, baby, you know what? In that dress, no, nah, you don't look too, wear this dress. You get upset. But this motherfucker at your job who just wants to fuck you, he's going to lie to you. And he's going to say, you know what? You look good. Right. And just because he says you look good and your husband didn't because you really don't, she's going to give him the pussy. It happens all the time. I see it. But they see, love to be lied to. But see, here's the thing. I mean, like I said, when I said trust your straight they don't, no. they don't love right. to be lied to. Shit. No, they don't. Shit, tell a woman they the do truth. No. What are we saying, Mike? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here's this scenario that I was in with a female friend of mine. And this is uh, what we were talking about before when mm. we said that a lot of women are just either oblivious to danger yeah. or they're attracted to it or they ignore the signs that their male friends are trying to give them. Uh -huh. Like, we can identify... If there's a fucked up guy around or if someone's kind of shady or if I don't trust that guy, I got a bad feeling about this guy. I'm kind of keeping my eye on him. I'm telling the woman I'm with, the friend, you know, yeah. you don't need to talk to that guy, man. Something's wrong with him. Then the next thing you know, she's sitting over there with him. Um, this yeah. actually happened. I was out at a bar with a female friend of mine and uh, I'm observing as a man and I see some static getting stirred up. And I'm like, okay, I'm keeping an eye on this situation, but I'm not going to freak out. So it gets more intense. This dude takes off. And uh, 10 minutes later, this dude is back in the bar with a gun in his hand. He's walking up to the other guy, putting the gun up to him. Damn. And a whole bunch of dudes, like, you know, this is on the other side of the bar. They jump this guy. They get the gun away from him. The owner of the bar, you know, kicks the guy out, keeps the gun or whatever. No police are called or nothing. They just kick this guy out like he's not going to come back in 15 minutes. Yeah. Right. And, and that's where my mind was. That's what right. I was processing when I'm watching all of this. Yeah. And I'm like talking to the girl. I'm with like, hey, uh, you know what? This shit's about to go about. nuclear. Yeah. We need to get the fuck out of here. Well, let me finish my drink. No, we don't need to finish a drink. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. No, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, I don't want to leave oh yet. I was just, this is a no. true story. I was She's in, like, I don't want to leave yet. And I'm just like, no, we need to leave. Yeah. I know where this shit's going. Yeah. You know? Oh, my God, dude. It, dude, very 30 seconds, I'll tell you that. I had the same situation. I was in a bar once. And this was a biker bar. And these were banditos. They oh all gosh. had their banditos. Yeah. And I'm in there, and the girl I'm with is just talking shit, joking with them, like thinking it's cute. And I don't even know them. And I'm like, and I tell her, I'm like, hey, stop this shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's like, ah. like, in other words, you think I'm going to protect you against 20 motherfuckers? Yeah, I'm going to leave you here. I did. Yeah, you got to. That's what I did. I, I, I literally said, I'll be out in the car if you want to come out. That's what I said. Fuck this shit. These guys got guns and everything. Yeah. This is a fucking bandit. Yes. Exactly. Legitimate. Yeah, that would be. And this was no, like, uh, this was a few months before they did the Waco shooting. Yeah. Uh -huh. These same motherfuckers are part of that. No, seriously. And, and so I left. And when we get in the car, she's like, I don't understand why you just left me there. That's not what a man does to go. Yeah, that's what this motherfucker does. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. sit there and, and defend your dumb ass when you're doing stupid shit to 20 right. motherfucking banditos. Yeah. You, I, I, you I gotta, I would have been walking I believe, out Jesus. there. I believe that, that what? You got to listen to your straight friends. I, I, yeah. And that's another thing, Mike. So do guys think <laughs> that women are property, though? That, that's that's one of my questions. Some do. Like, some I do. mean. Some do. If they're married. If, if Is that why wife, there's like so many shootings between some do. guys I don't know. Can I can with make, women? I'm going to make this one point. Some do. Okay. Some do. Every woman. I know y'all going to hate me on this one. The women will. Every woman belongs to the man. Here's what I mean by that. Hold on. Let me just make the point. Then no, okay. yeah, I yeah, want to yeah. hear. I want to hear you. This will take just a few seconds. Okay. No. I Every get, I get. man 
is terror. Not every man, every man's man. Let's call it. You know, uh-huh. the other uh, ones, not the, the yeah, not the other ones. Every real man. Hear me out. No, I'm listening. You're, you're, I'm, you're listening. Gonna, I'm listening. You, you get the floor after this statement. <laughs> no, no, okay. Every single man thinks his he's territorial yeah. over his woman right. and right. feels like that woman belongs to him and that he deserves all of her attention and not with any other man. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm. Mean. Okay, so then if if that is the case, then why is it that when you're out, <laughs> when you're out and about, right? And you're with that man, and you're sitting there, you're conversating, you're engaging, but the guy is looking over at some other girl. I don't know. Uh, maybe the boy. I don't know. I'll answer it you, like you this. You belong to him. I don't think he belongs to you. So what, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm gonna what does that mean? I'm gonna I, I, I think Jeff just so said it. Yeah, I think, I, think he, <laughs> I, I, don't know. I, think, I think you didn't hear what he said. You belong to me. <laughs> I don't no, belong no, to you. I, yeah, know. I think that's right. No, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm not saying if it's right or not, but I think Did, that's right. Uh, and I don't do that. Is it just? I don't do that, so I don't know. I, is that innate? Is that, innate? Is that just human look, nature? You, you is that something you're taught? I'm, 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 I'm going to I'm gonna tell you the answer to that I'm not overall. No, mm-hmm. I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But If I want to, I'm not. I just I, when I say, yeah. when we say look, like yeah. we both look and maybe you see a good looking guy, but you don't do anything. I see a good looking girl, just kind of don't do anything. That's not a big deal. Right. To yeah. me. No, yeah. I mean, you know, you need to condition that, but whatever. Yeah. But I'm saying if But if that, you're like turning your head and you're like looking to see where this girl going. I think women look at the women harder than we do. Yeah. And that's why they get upset because I've been with a girl before and then you see some ugly, non attractive woman, you look at her, she don't say shit. Right. You see something that looks good, what you looking at? I think it's well, yeah, her. Cause, cause I, think I, I, I mean, I, think it's I believe other women think other women are beautiful. I think it's I mean, her that thinks that other woman looks good. Oh, we, we ain't. Yeah. We look at both of them the same. But I want to yeah. answer this question. I want to make a point. Okay. It's much harder. You won't agree with this because you're not a man. You don't know. You okay. don't know. Okay. It's much harder for a man overall in society to get a woman and really get her than it is for a woman to get a man. Yeah, that's true. So the, it, it is. And uh-huh. think about it. It's like. We got to do a lot of shit. Yeah, we got to go. They don't have to do shit. No. So that's it. So the reality is we know that as men and it's competition. Women don't okay. compete the same way. They may compete with their looks and their sassiness, but it's not the same way. Men, we're right. fucking brutal. Like, yeah. like if this was back in the day, we'd be killing each other over bitches. Yeah, I know, when right? Really well, do. y'all still do it. Yeah. Y'all still are. do it now. War, when when there's mean, a war, all they're doing is going into the other country. They're killing the men, fucking their women, and that's how they spread their there way you go. life. Yeah, that's you go it. There, you go to this country, you kill all the men, you fuck the women, they impregnate that, them, and now you take over. Now, does that answer your question? <laughs> that's what it is. So go ahead and look. <laughs> yes. But motherfucker, no, when you look, no, when you look, <laughs> you're creating a war. Yeah. When I look, it ain't no war. It's not listen, a war. Listen, listen to the, listen to the, the original, uh, oh the original uh, wedding vows. Women are the responsible for all wars. Yeah. The women say, I don't know exactly what they are, but I know they say like love, honor, and obey. Yeah. The men, it just yeah, like you promise to like yeah. protect her to this. Right. So it right. kind of it kind of was yeah. written that way. Yeah. And I think now you know women are looking for something different. Yeah. And I think it's the you know I don't know. But there's one more thing I want to say about Mike. Um, well, he said heard. he said friends. I don't believe that males have female friends. I don't believe that. Like that's another thing I stay away from. Because if Mike, if I was dating a woman, and well, Mike is supposedly her friend. Let's say I was dating you. Okay. And Mike is supposedly your best friend. Yeah. And he tells you some fucked up shit about me. I'm gonna want to beat Mike's ass. Because in my mind, yeah. he's a, he's trying to fuck or he's just hating. You know what I mean? That's what. That's the way it's going to come off. And I think that's another yeah. reason that sometimes women don't listen. Because if you came to me and told me what your male, the only man you can probably tell me what he said that, that maybe contradicts what I believe and I'll be okay with it is if you say my father. If you go to tell me uh, that what some guy at work said or your blood, fucking pastor blood, like brothers, or fathers. your best friend or something like that, man, I'm going to want to whoop that motherfucker. And I'm going to tell you, go fuck him then. You get one because I don't want to hear yeah. what no other motherfucking man said in well, my motherfucking like, shit. I guess it's like what Fuck a him. man you know saying. Go, he, I let mean, me, there's a lot of truth in that. You, about let it, yeah. me go talk to his woman, there's and I guarantee you that best friend or that so-called friend that that woman has, yeah. he will not allow your. You will not allow your mate to go talk to his woman. Meaning, if Mike is your best friend and yeah. he can give you advice about me, and right. y'all can sit on the phone, and y'all can go out to the bar. Yeah. Let me go out with his girl. Okay, well, then that's, that's like the same it's scenario. Be a, wait, hell no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's hear that's it. like the same scenario with, like, with women. If their man says, oh, well, uh, 
Jane over there, she made some really good lasagna. Why don't you try making it like that? I wouldn't say that to my woman. I mean, but see, I know as a man, thing. but I know, first of all, I'm not even eating her lasagna. Number two, I see me as a man, I wouldn't and I do think, that. But I think some guys that's don't get bad. that. I that's think not, some guys don't a, understand that. Okay, if a like, man just, does that, just, he's wrong. You explaining that mentality that you have over yeah. if that the, man did the that woman, you, he's wrong. Women have that same mentality over other women. Yeah, but you know, like if you really I think that you. hers is better, okay, we'll go get it. No, I agree with you. He should, no, I, <laughs> that's listen, what I would say. Listen, I agree with you. and By all means, go. What does she look like? That's what we're thinking. Yeah, I, but I, but that's what I'm saying. As a man, I would never say that to my woman. Right. I would never. Now, if if she makes a yeah. lasagna that's not good, I'm going to tell her, hey, baby, I don't like that. I'm not going to eat it. She's going to have to maybe get on YouTube or something. But I would mm-hmm. never, ever in my life, yeah. compare my woman to another woman. Because I just know just not to do respect. that. Just out of respect? Yeah. 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 It's just certain things. That's what I'm so, saying. When so you, why don't, got, when why don't all that? I got all because they're not like, men; like that, they're like. males. When you're when you're a real man, you, there's certain things you just know. So yeah. I would I wouldn't do that unless I'm just wanting to piss her off or I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But I'm I'm now I'll tell her her cooking's not good. Yeah. Like I'm not friends and people that they know they this shit's not good. It ain't up the bar. I'm mm-hmm. not eating it. They know that. Like don't even. Hey, you want something? I'm gonna say no. Nah, I'm good. You know. What well, I mean? but I'm not gonna tell her to go cook like no I, Sheila. I mean, look. <laughs> That, here's the thing. Not my woman. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I'll tell you. No, this here's is the it. Thing. No, this is it. And I've had plenty of women that can't cook. I'm just trying to be a mediator. Just, no, I'm not. I'm trying to. I'm trying to lay it out like this. Okay. I agree, I agree with okay. you. I think. I don't think it's necessarily so polarized. Yeah. Where I can't sit with my other half and go, man, she made a good lasagna. Yeah. That's okay. Right. But I'm not saying she's got a good ass. She's got hot lips. She's, See, I'm not yeah. saying things yeah. that would be in the connotation that I am I interested agree, in I her. Agree, I agree. Okay. I agree. So, or or yeah. telling you she said your lasagna is not good. But with the way that the woman's wired, just as the way men are wired. Yeah. I agree. That, right. That's where our yeah. wire is. No, I agree with you. I but agree but with it you. has it's, to be. It's, it's like what. But can I make a point? You got to no, know yeah. You got to know your man. If you True. know your man's saying it in the connotation that he's interested in the woman. And you have every right to be offended. Right. And it goes the other way around. If a man yeah. says something and you know that person, because you know that person. Yeah. And you know, you know that person. If but, they're saying yeah. something that's offensive to you because you know that person is twinkling on the other side, right? Like yeah. looking at the other side. Right. It's offensive. But I think we got to yeah. be careful on just blanketing. Can I say the lasagna is good? I mean, if I'm eating her yeah, lasagna, yeah. we're at a dinner party, and I go, this is right. good. Am I not allowed to tell you it's good? But, but see, that's not what she said, there. though. Like, that's if, not you what know, she said. if you know the difference between either that man is doing, you know, like you said, twinkling, that's what I'm I guess, saying. Yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. So, but, yeah. but I didn't say, I, I, yeah. I agree with you, Jay. Yeah, yeah. I think that it's okay to say it's good, but I, what you said to me or what I heard was like, Hey, your lasagna is not. You need to make it like her. That's yeah. what I'm saying is wrong. That's too yeah, saying yeah. her lasagna is good and that is is two different things to me. You know, that's yeah. just my opinion. Mike. Well, hey y'all. Yeah. Um, I like we're gonna make this show again, man. We're gonna go on and on. And <laughs> yeah, on. we might have to. We, we might need three hours to get to everything here. <laughs> we, we, men don't understand women. Women don't understand men. But we just need exactly. each other. That's the truth. Yeah, we, but, we need them for well, something. <laughs> Well, let's wrap this one up. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. Uh, don't forget to check out our Patreon. Join the membership if you'd like. Uh, we are available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and anywhere where you listen to podcasts. So until next time, we'll see ya. The Gen X Talk Podcast was brought to you by D's Nuts. Don't forget to subscribe and join our Patreon because we really want to quit our jobs one day and just make content. Please.